I created a new website and today I want to show you the website. I want to tell you why I closed my Etsy shop and I want to tell you how I made it and why I chose Squarespace. I am not sponsored by Squarespace. I wish I was, believe me. I wish I was, but I'm not. I just like it. I'll tell you all about why, but let's go and check out my website. My website address is cindia.ca because I'm in Canada. It's a very simple website with only two pages. Let's go to the bio first. I wanted to keep my bio super short to the point and not be artsy fartsy about it. Just like say basically what I'm about the shortest possible way. I was born in a tiny rural town in eastern Quebec surrounded by expensive forests, hills and crazy cold winters. Really cold winters. I studied design in college and fine arts in university and these days I like sharing my creative process and weekly art vlogs on YouTube. I'm naturally drawn to bold expressive lines and colors. Anything that is halfway between figurative and abstract has my heart. I'm currently working on a brand new collection of paintings inspired by music and that special flame that makes each one of us uniquely beautiful. The collection will be released sometime in 2022. That's a little bit about the collection. I'll talk about it more in the weeks to come. And let's go to the homepage. I have a very simple photo of me and my studio with the paintings giving a little sneaky peek of the collection with a title of the collection. It's called True Colors. And it says new painting collection coming in 2022. To get first dibs on the new collection of paintings, sign up to the mailing list with the mailing list sign up box. And at the end, there's just my email with my socials, YouTube and Instagram. And now, why did I close my Etsy shop to go to my own website? The reason that I opened an Etsy shop in the first place was because in my mind, I was thinking that because Etsy is such a big platform with so many people going shopping, I might have more chances of people being interested in what I had to offer than me trying to get eyeballs on my stuff on my own in my own website. Not the case because like with all big social media platforms, you have to cater to the algorithm. So people weren't seeing my stuff at all. In order for people to see my listings, I would have had to post new listings every day, have a big inventory of like hundreds of listings, constantly pay to refresh my listings daily to keep the Etsy algorithm happy. I didn't want to expand all my creative energy in catering to an algorithm. And I decided that I would move to my own website if I didn't get any sales selling printables and digital prints for like five or ten dollars. I wasn't going to sell original paintings on Etsy for hundreds or thousands of dollars. So I thought may as well have my own website and that direct relationship with potential clients or potential people that would be interested in my work because Etsy doesn't offer you that. You're not allowed to contact people directly. They take a portion of your sales and they're not even really that helpful in getting people to see your stuff. So as you know, this year I decided to focus on selling my art online, like producing a collection and learning all this stuff. And from what I'm seeing, most successful artists have their own websites and they build a client base of people that are really truly interested in their work through a mailing list. So my plan is to offer to people that are interested in my art first dibs on the painting so they'll know when the paintings will be released. They'll get a preview, maybe a video behind the scenes with close-ups of each pieces of art, they'll know when it's released and when they can buy if they're interested in a piece. That's how I'll use the mailing list. And I know that mailing list can be tricky. Some people are very intrusive, sending two, three emails a week. I've had that experience signing up to a few like coaching seminars and things like that. And that's not what I want to do. I think I'm, I might send like two to four emails a year. <laughs> 
And the point is not to have a million people on my mailing list. It's really to have people that are truly interested in the artwork. Like you, you come to my YouTube channel, maybe you're interested more in how to use certain materials in art or you want to be inspired or you want to see my creative process but it doesn't mean that you would necessarily want to buy my artwork and that's totally fine but as an artist having a mailing list like that is really good because it gives that distinction of who is really interested in the art itself and as a side note some of you might wonder how much the art will be and if i'm gonna sell prints and all that I understand that art is expensive, so it's a smaller format, I don't think I'll sell it less than $200, so it's probably going to vary from a couple hundred dollars all the way up to maybe $4,000, depending on how huge it is, and I think I would love to be able to offer free shipping worldwide, so I'm still thinking about prices and shipping and all that stuff, so I get that. It could be expensive, it's not for everybody. I fully get that. And this year, I really wanna focus on selling original art. There's so much to learn about it, so I wanna focus my energy on producing it, getting it done, and learning a whole bunch of things on how to package it, ship it, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be focusing on original art. When it comes to prints, it's a whole other thing. There's suppliers involved and it's a whole other thing. So I'm not saying no, but I know that it's not gonna be for a while. And the reason I chose Squarespace specifically, it's just that I saw a whole bunch of artists using Squarespace. There's so much publicity around it. And way back when, maybe 10 years ago, I had tried to do my own website with the help of David. David is a super, expert coder so he would he coded it for me with my background in graphic design i designed it but it was really tricky to manage because i'm not a very good technical person when it comes to like the tech stuff and coding and all that so i had to rely on him so it was tricky and then a few years after that i tried wix i don't have anything negative to say about wix but I did some kind of design, wasn't super happy about it and kind of let it drop. And now I wanted to try Squarespace and I'm so, so happy I did. It takes a couple days to, let's say you give yourself a weekend to kind of learn how the Squarespace interface works and where the menus are for designing and for editing. But once you get your bearings and you know where things are, it's so easy and fun to use. You can do anything with it. There's templates to start with. I picked something that would be kind of close to what I wanted and I was able to edit everything. You can delete everything that's there and remold it if you want to. But starting from an existing template really helps make things less overwhelming and you kind of mold it to your needs. It's easy and I fully recommend it. It's costing me about $25 a month right now, but I have a like a bigger package where I have my own like unique uh, website address, cindia.ca. You don't have to pay for that. You could probably use their squarespace dot slash blah, blah, blah. And it would be less expensive. I also bought a package for having their services for a mailing list, but there's other ways you could do it. So for me, it's about $25 a month. I'm okay with it and I'm really happy with the result. I did it in about a weekend. I took a couple photos to give like a general idea of what the vibe of the collection was and I kept it really simple and I'm happy with it. If you wanna know more, let me recommend to you two videos. This one is my plan for this year, and this other one is a cozy art vlog showing my art process. Subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends. Thank you so much in advance for all your support. I will see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching.